Dust storms are a scourge of modern life in much of the world. In order to produce a dust storm, you need wind and you need soil particles. Come on the road. In this film, we look at what a dust storm is. The dust storm is actually when the visibility is less than a kilometer. And how human activity is making them worse. We focus on the Middle East. About to be engulfed. One of the world's worst hit areas. During the dust storm season, patients get severe attacks of asthma that required hospital admission and intensive care. We'll see how NASA's satellites can track dust storms as they sweep across the Earth. The dust can be lifted up to three or four miles in altitude before it's really kind of carried away by the winds. Every year, the current estimate is anywhere from two to five billion metric tons. It moves around some distance in the Earth's atmosphere every year. So it's, it's quite a bit of dust. Dust isn't always bad. Scientists are researching the impact of dust crossing the ocean from Africa to Florida. I think the fact that we can see these impacts so far away is really exciting. So in the rainforest, many of the plants derive their nutrients and are fertilized from dust. In Q8, they're pioneering new ways of tackling the problem of dust storms. This plant can reduce the negative effect of dust. While technology brings the prospect of daily dust storm forecasts. So this is the sun dust storm warning and assessment system for Northern Africa, Middle East and Europe. As the world's climate becomes more extreme, scientists are urging action. It is the number one killer the number one non-communicable disease that we are trying to tackle today. If it's coming your way, it's a case of, are you going to be suffocated? 